get ready to rumble! Y'all ready for this? What's up Bronco fans? It's time for another edition of the Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap. I'm John Nash. And I'm Lauren Matheson. Well, John, this past week, the men's basketball team went 2-0 against Bakersfield and San Diego. It's Denzel Johnson here with iBronco. I'm here with center Robert Garrett. Rob, we're coming off a good little week. We got a win against Bakersfield, and we also beat USD at USD, which is uh, we always like to play on the road. You want to talk a, bit, a little bit about last week and uh, how you felt about those two games? Um, I feel great about those two games. Uh, personally, you know, we got two wins, and, um, you know, now we're just worried about Portland. Yeah, as you said, uh, we played Portland on Thursdays. They got uh, some good, some good uh, players in their front court. You, you a little excited for that matchup? I always love going against good post players. Playing against good post players brings the best defensive effort out of me. So, yeah, I'm very excited. All right, if they're getting your best defensive effort, I'm a little worried for them. So Rob, I'm a little. I've been a little disappointed with you. I must say, we've had three three games since the Duke since the Duke game. You went three in a row half court shots, and then you just fell off. You haven't hit one since. Like, what's going on, man? I don't know. It might have. It might have been the haircut that I got. I don't know. You know. You know. What I'm saying the power's in the hair. You know. Yeah, I, I don't think you should have cut the hair personally. I think you should have left the beard when you had it thick. That's when. That's when you was. That's when you was Rob Garrett. Now you. Now you Robert. So, I, I mean, I think you got to go back with the beard so you can get them half-court shots because I, I, I got three of them. You only got three. If you're trying to beat me, you got to I mean, you gotta, you gotta hit another one. Bro, I'm definitely going to beat you. Like, it's, it's not a question. And you keep shooting after me. I keep telling you, don't shoot after me, bro. Like, I don't know why, I don't know why you keep trying to shoot after me. You're trying to prove a point or whatever. But, you know, following behind me is going to put you on the losing end of this, man, for real. So, uh, Rob, we do a lot of traveling as a team. You know, we, we get on the road probably once a week, sometimes twice a week, and uh, we have to fly. So we get on these planes. You know, I'm I'm 6'4", you know, on a good day with my right shoes on. You know, so you seven feet tall. So I feel like I'm struggling in the plane. I know you got to be going through it. So, like, how do you get through the plane rides when I, I can't even do it? So how do you do it? Well, you know, the first thing I do when I get on a plane is I always try to an exit row seat because, you know, the exit row seat has, like... Exit row, okay. Yeah, and, like, and specifically, like, since we fly Southwest so much, like, there's always, over uh, over one of the wings, there would always be, like, a seat that, like, takes up, like, two um, seats, you know what I mean? There would okay. be a seat in front of yeah, it, I know so you're you able to extend your legs all the way. So, yeah, I try and find that seat. If I can't find that seat, I take the other exit row seat. And if I don't, then I try and sit as comfortably as I can. All right, well, so say if there's the extra row seats are taken by all short people, I'm talking like 5'7 and 5'6, would you say something to one of them? Like, look, I'm 7 feet, you 5'6, like, let's work something out. Or would you just you just go on and find a different seat? Well, it's first come, first serve, man. If I get beat to it, I'm beat to it, man. I'm a fair guy, you know. You got here first, and that's your seat, and I'll try my best to, you know, sit and um, try and sit in comfort in a regular seat. Rob, you just got to take that seat, man. The gentle giant, man. Just a reminder, the men play here in the Levy Center on Thursday at 7 p.m. against Portland, and then their game against BYU on Saturday at 6 p.m. can be seen on BYU TV. Hey, Lauren, the men's tennis team picked up a big win this past weekend over number 38, Boise State. They now travel up to Seattle to take on two top-notch opponents in University of Washington and Boise State again. We had a chance to talk with the team about the upcoming games. Thanks, John and Lauren. I'm Tom Pham, a senior on the men's tennis team. Here's my coach. Derek Mills. We just come up, came off a great win off Boise State last Saturday, and we've had a good week of practice, and our coach is going to talk about our match, our matches coming up at UW this weekend. All right, thanks, Tommy. Um, yeah, we had a great win against Boise State in the ITA kickoff, um, and we are looking forward to going up to UW. UW's top 20 in the country, and Boise State, who we just played this past weekend, is definitely going to be up to play us, um, especially since we just beat them. And um, we're looking forward to it. It's definitely a great challenge, but I'm sure my team uh, using practice this week is going to be up for the challenge, and we're really looking forward to it. Well, the women's tennis team picked up their first win of the season. They'll now play at UC Davis this Sunday at 12 p.m. 
Well, Lauren, the women's water polo team, as you know, went down to Santa Barbara, picked up a big win over Concordia and almost upset number eight LMU. You had a chance to talk with Julia Peters about the past weekend as well as the upcoming home opener against Hawaii on Friday. I'm here with Julia Peters. Julia, I heard you had an outstanding tournament this past weekend. How is the team playing on the road? We had our first game against UC San Diego, and it was pretty hard to open up with a conference game. Um, but we did pretty well, and we built off of it for our LMU game, which was outstanding. Even though we lost, everyone had a pretty good game. Um, we got our first win of the weekend against Concordia on Saturday, and we played very solid against UC Irvine. Great. Well, now you guys have your home opener this weekend here in the Aquatic Center. How's the team preparing for that? Um, just basically building off this weekend, um, fine-tuning everything in practice, and just getting very excited for a great season. Great. Well, good luck. Thanks. Thank you. Well, good luck to the women's water polo team as they have their home opener this weekend. That's right, Lauren. Hey, the women's basketball team had two tough losses here in the Levy Center last week to Portland and St. Mary's. They now travel down to San Diego to take on the Toreros in a key WCC matchup. The winner will take over fourth place in the West Coast Conference, as well as playing at home against BYU right here in the Levy Center at 2 o'clock on Saturday. Our very own iBronco reporter Nikki Gilday had a chance to talk with one of the freshmen on the women's basketball Hi, team. reporter Nikki Gilday here with my teammate Courtney Lazowski. Um, so, Ski, we had two tough losses last week. Um, what are we taking away from those two games to help us in the future? Um, definitely that defense wins games, and we were only a few possessions away in both games from winning. So every possession counts, and we can't take that for granted. So moving forward to this week, we take on the Toreros in San Diego. Um, what are some of the things we're focusing on this week to get that win? Um, well, we've seen them in film, and they're a solid, good team. And we just got to take our defense from the St. Mary's game and the offense from the Portland game, and we'll have a great game. Well, good luck to the women's basketball team, and that's this week's edition of the Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap. Go Broncos! <laughs> Thank you.